Yes, yes, Massive Improved back once again with another video. And I just wanted to say, guys, I've literally today, I've literally just followed your uh, comments and uh, someone's been, uh, I think it's Island Junglist, big up to you, mate. Uh, and loads of other people as well, to be fair, have been commenting on this uh, SCSI 2 ID. SCSI 2? SCSI 2 SD. And uh, I went online, uh, went to AmigaKit.com, and I bought uh, a SCSI to SD uh, setup, a motherboard. I've also asked them to install the new, uh, not the new, but the, like an extra SCSI port on the on the side there, and uh, it's got like a SCSI connector here. And uh, I've also bought because this is like a 50-pin SCSI. Um, so just to sort of show you that. Uh, I'll give you a little hit, hit of that in a minute. Right, as soon as I can have a look. And I've also bought a few other little accessories to go with it. There's, there's this. Now, um, the thing is, there's limited information for samplers on there because um, this is obviously intended for the Amiga. So I'm not really sure. So I'm going to attempt to do some sort of ins installation video and get this thing going. Uh, comment down below if you guys know anything about it. Look, I bought this other little uh, part that goes with it. I bought this separately on eBay. This is like a. I think it's, don't quote me, DB25 SCSI to 50 pin internal. And I believe that slots in there, like so. So that goes that way around it. There's some slots there. As you can see, look, there's some little slots on there to show you where it goes, right? And uh, I'm just going to put that onto here like that and then pop that in there. And then that makes a SCSI connector like that. So now the theory behind this is obviously there's a USB connection on the front. And that USB connection allows you to connect, transfer your files, I believe, to the SD card. Because it, it takes a little SD card here now. And, oh, by the way, for those of you who don't know, this thing here serves up as a, as a hard drive. And uh, it can take uh, up to 8 gig, I believe. Don't quote me on all this information 100% yet, because this is first impressions. Um, it goes up to 8 gig and it really utilizes full capacity of these discs. That's obviously something you know, you guys, if one of you guys could comment down below and let me know about that. Excuse the camera at the moment, it's doing some weird shit. Um, and uh, yeah, so the idea is I'm going to connect a SCSI pin into that. Yeah, and then the other SCSI pin can, because you can use this to share two, you can, if you've got two samplers, you don't want to connect it to the PC, right? Say you didn't want to use Recycle, you could put, apparently you can connect two samplers to it, and both of them can access the hard drive, and you can also do this in dual format. So, for example, an Emu, or a Kurzweil on one, and an Akai on the other, and you could, could use this to connect up multiple samplers, but the thing is, uh, there's no way of uh, connecting the PC into this. So what I intend to do, I've already got one PC, my 3200 connected up for recycle. I've got plenty of recycle breaks uh, from my past history and all that. Uh, but I'm going to leave my 30, S3200 connected because that's got lots of SCSI options. So I'm going to do that, right? And then I've got my Akai S3200 Excel. Now that's got an HXC emulator. Now the H HXC emulator is obviously for saving discs. Um, now the thing is about the HXC emulator, it's a great piece of kit. Obviously it serves me well for archiving all my discs. So once I've got all my whole entire brain library together, I, you know, I'll have all those on the eight gig USB stick or whatever, and I'll be able to access all my stuff. But once I load them up now, to be fair, I don't really want to be saving disk by disk. So this is where this comes in, because this acts as a hard drive on the Akai. So the idea with that one is I'm probably going to do this. Here's what I'm going to do, guys. I've got my Emu as well. I was going to SCSI that up, but it's a long thing having too many um, computers. Uh, sorry, too many samplers SCSI'd up to one PC. How much SCSI do you need? Think about it like this. Uh, the, Amiga, the Amiga, sorry, the... Um, the Emu reads uh, Akai discs anyway, right? And and also I've got a, a Zip 100 connected to my um, to my Emu, and I could potentially connect one to the Akai as well, so I could save to Zip if I wanted to transfer any files. What am I talking about? This is madness. No, start again, guys. This is crazy. Simple things. This can one side of this can connect to the Akai. The, uh, with the HXC, the other side can connect to the EMU. And I believe they can both share the hard drive. So you could just save the hard drive and it pop it up on the EMU if you wanted to. But that's a long story. I'm not, I doubt if I'm ever going to get to that anytime soon. Right now, it's just about using this to save samples on the Akai. Because when you load up all those HXC uh, stuff, 
you want a quick access. You want somewhere to, somewhere to be able to save it. So, as I said, on my Akai S3000, I've got so many Akais. On my Akai S3000 XL, I could use this as a hard drive to save stuff that I've loaded up on the HXC. Reason being is because my Akai S3200 with the hard drive, doesn't it has a floppy it has a floppy or uh, installed and i'm probably going to just keep the floppy for now until i get through all my discs and i sort them all out by the way we're going to get onto atari stuff soon as well uh the atari gear i haven't even got onto that yet i've got my atari set up there and i'm just collecting atari disc down there to be able to start connect firing it up connecting it and and showing you guys akai cubase 2.0 running that's going to be you know in the future smash the like button if you want to see that and also Give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. I want to see Akai. Let me know the deal. Right? So, this bit of kit here, you use a normal uh, SD card. If you've got any questions down below, I'll try my best to answer them. Obviously, I don't know a lot about this. And I've done research online. And I've not come up with much at all. So, any comments, you guys. If you guys got one of these down, you know, uh, comment down below on that. And, and you know, we're going to try and, you know, use this as an information center. This is the information center. Right, so let me see. Uh, also, this comes with because mounting uh, the mounting situation. Look, I even that. Oh, look, I think the other one that I bought came with it already. I can't remember, but look, this is a, diff a second one that I bought. So I've actually got a spare one of these. In fact, I've got I've got two spare. No, no. Anyway, can never have too many. Uh, where am I? Madman. Oh, here we go, yeah. So, I've got a case for it as well. I've seen some cases selling on eBay, uh, 3D printed cases. Now, here's the case. The case is it's a half wick case, it's not even proper, but look, it, it sort of fastens on, and the SD card slot goes in like that, and there's a few screws with it, I guess, and you just screw the board down like that. Now, you can fit this, potentially, in your 3.5 inch floppy disk drive which is, uh, but at the moment I've got the HXC in there. So, you know me, I might hack a little ribbon hole or something or, or just, you know what, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna flip in, hot glue this to the side of my Akai somewhere. Right, hot glue it, yeah. And once I've hot glued it to the side of the Akai, uh, I'm just gonna run a SCSI cable at the back. One to the Akai around the back and the other one to the Emu. And that's me, I'm good to go, I can save stuff. And uh, there's some software that this comes with as well. Um, and the software, I believe, is a special software to allow you to format the drive correctly. Blah, 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 rah, rah. I've had, to be honest, I've had this sitting there for a few weeks. I've been, well, I've been busy with work and all that. I haven't had time to come home and fart around with this. You know how it is, people, like, old man ting, responsibilities, you know what I mean? You're getting on, this is my passion. I love doing it, 100%, man. But like, if I stop doing this, man, you know what I mean? And like, if I, if I just, sorry, if I stop working, my family will eat. And I'd love to have a Patreon and have everyone do, donate, you know, a pound a month towards, you know, my cause. And, I, and, you know, in all honesty, I'd love to just sit here making videos all day and not have to go work, man. And that's my, that's, that's what I love to do. But obviously, you know what I mean? Let's, come on. Wake up, B. Reality, reality. Anyway, people, that's it for the SCSI 2 SD. Um... Comment down below, let me know your vibes on it, let me know your, your, your thoughts on it. If you've got one, share the knowledge down below there, people. Uh, take care, God bless, peace.